This is like, my question is really for you. Um, well, I've got several questions, but I want to know, uh, when was your first time actually getting in, involved in the competitive scene? I'll start there. Um, I first got into the scene about, I want to say NEC 2012. Okay. K9 came out. No, NEC 2011. Um, and I came in as nobody, but like I enjoyed, um, I like enjoyed the scene. Like, and CD Jr. had like talked to me, had like, kept me inside the scene. And then like by the time I came to the next tournament, like everybody, like I, I started like doing stuff on stream that made everybody just like, like you know, become more. Then, came then Curtis and Matt Anthony, between me and Drake. The other, the next thing I want to know is like, dude, how? How are you so good at so many freaking games at one time? I, I really want to know that. I mean, it is practice and learn the game, honestly. I, just, I mean, I do have free time, but I also kind of balance schoolwork. But, like, I say, when I have free time, I'm just playing video games, honestly, and just relaxing. And you do, you do have a brother. Yeah, but he only plays video games. Yeah. Him. Like, has he had any type of influence on you, like, as far as your, your gaming ability or whatnot? Like, I would sense um, there's some sort of rivalry between you, yeah. obviously. Like, I, I just pretty much learned that, like, don't care about consequences that could potentially happen. Only care about what's happening right now. So, if you care about what's happening in the now, then you, can, you don't, might not have to worry about consequences later. And, like, even if you put in something, it's like, whatever. It's, you just play the cards you're dealt, basically. Yeah. Okay, uh, you said it was NEC 2012. Now I can't remember exactly. Was this the tournament where DOA first came out as the? It was no. the it was the beta one. or Was that the year before? I, uh, my, I'm my time. 2011. 2012 was DOA five. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank NEC you. NEC 2011. And what games did you enter at that time? Good for correcting me. Thank you. Only what? Only Mortal Kombat. 9. Only in Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat nine at that yeah. time. Okay. Or uh, were you a long time Mortal Kombat player or Like I played like I played all of them except for Shaolin Monks and like I don't play anything incredibly, it's just like I really like fighting Mortal Kombat. And Mortal Kombat was your favorite at the time? Um like the old versions, but I didn't really play them until MK9 came out. Like I like at the time I was mainly like a Tekken player to be honest. Was, you were a Tekken player? Yeah, I was playing like a lot of Tekken, obviously. And I was just be I was honestly just playing random games. Like I don't even know. Like I, I was just be playing te Tekken until um until MK9 came out, I put all of my time in MK9. Well, here's another thing. Following that year, okay, I think that, because it was when Dead or Alive, the the, the, the pre-release copy of Dead or Alive 5, you know, yeah. before that came, I remember you were in that tournament, and mm -hmm. I remember hearing your name called for Eternal Champions. Now, yeah. don't get me wrong. <laughs> Eternal Champions, bro, like, that's from my generation, like, I'm like, how do you know how to play that game? I actually learned that game within, like, 10 minutes, but, like, I apparently picked up top tier 2, which is Thanatos, and I learned how to do combos and cinematic stuff, like, within, like, I, play, I, I looked up a lot of stuff on my phone, and then, I, I, like, I immediately, like, learned it within, like, like, like that, and I just started buying everybody, like, so quick, with, like, this top tier character that I was using, and it was amazing. Yeah, and it was because, like, you know... That's an advantage I guess you have because like we didn't have the internet and stuff as much during then. Oh, and speaking of, which, which internal champions was that? Was that the CD version or the actual cartridge version? The cartridge version. Okay, because I know there was slight differences between those. Things. I, I remember that like, you know, playing like... That game was so much fun. Yeah, it was. It was kind of like semi-Street Fighter, a little like bit of Mortal Kombat. <laughs> okay, and then besides that, yeah, you did pretty decently I think at, at that and DOA at the time like mm -hmm. was, yeah. I remember you know hubs telling me like we can't find this kid Sonic Fox because he's in like six different games or something yeah, at the time that, that happened a lot actually yeah it, it, it's something we're kind of familiar with like every time you're here like Sonic Fox is busy everybody knows <laughs> I was just like salty today earlier today I got um, I had to leave mid match for DOA and I turned my side to the other Injustice match all over again. Yeah, you had to go win Injustice real quick before you came over to finish DOA, basically. Yeah, but like what happened was they made me leave mid-match. Like, I was on a 2-0, and then they made me leave mid-match, so I had to go to DOA. It, like, I had to restart my entire Injustice match because of that. And pretty much, like, your philosophy of playing is, like, you just, like you said before, you just deal with the hand, the cards yeah. that are dealt. There's no, there's no your character in no matchups, honestly, or know how to deal with things, understand that 
and time at times there will be BS in games. So you just gotta deal with. Mm. Yeah, and the only way to deal with BS would be even more BS than that. So <laughs> that's why right. that's why right. like I just do so good because I and like being a, like but what I blame part of it is that like I'm really good at getting inside of people's heads mm -hmm. fast. Like it's just like I, I intimidate people to do stuff. Like, I get them scared to do anything. And then like I can like, I know when I'm inside of your head. And by that time, it's just like, when, when the point of tries to get me out, it's just too late, it's just dead. Yes, yeah. yes, because you did that to me at Dead or Alive, uh, yeah. on the Dead or Alive game, when you pulled out Kokoro, and I was like, why am I getting beat by Kokoro, like by this little, at the time, I think you were 13? Yeah, out. 14. 14, maybe? Yeah. And right there, it was to me, like, a lot of people have, I guess, with you, it's the little brother effect, where like, yeah. I've reached the point where I've been playing the game so long that now my little brother can just beat me and I don't know why he's beating me. It doesn't make sense. I'm still my, still debating my existence in DOA is still my brother because he just knows everything about me because he's like going out playing a game. Yeah. He may understand the game that a deeper matter than I do, but I, I don't know. He's really like good at doing anything. Yeah. All right. Now, now, now moving on further, speaking of in, Injustice, Skullgirls, uh, what else did you enter? I'm sorry. You um, had. I entered Skullgirls, um, Dead or mm -hmm. Alive, Injustice, Mortal mm -hmm. Kombat. Mortal Kombat. Persona. Persona. Gear. Uh, and, and then I, I under Night Birth. Yeah, you were under Night Birth too, yes. Yeah. So let's see. Um, so Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat, Injustice, DOAs. He has so many Persona, medals, folks. Gear, Gear, Tekken Knight. I like DQ myself. And there's one more game. I know there's one more game. It's funny just looking at you right now, trying to figure out what that last game I'm you want. Like, did, did I do Oh, God. I, I, I know I signed up for eight games instead of seven. I'm just trying to remember what the seventh game or what the eighth game was. You didn't sign up for Guilty Gear, did you? I did. Oh. I already said that. I was like, Guilty Gear, Mortal Kombat, Injustice, DOA, Skullgirls, um, Persona. Mm hmm. Um, Oh. Now nah, I'm missing the other game I just said I signed up for. Sonic, all girls. <laughs> yeah, there's too many. Yeah, I, I was just to say I signed up for eight games. Well, anyway.